With several teams boosted by the return of St George Queensland Reds players, Round 14 of the Queensland Premier Rugby competition produced some exciting matches and some important results. Quade Cooper made a successful return to the field for South Magpies as they thumped the Gold Coast 50 points to 27. The Magpies scored eight tries and Cooper had a hand in all of them, including this no-look pass to winger Dom Lespierre to score one of his three tries. Just days after completing duties at the Wallabies' second three-day training camp, Cooper put in a dominant display, creating line breaks with his superior passing game, turning the defence around with pinpoint kicking, setting up several long-range tries, and slotting five conversions. Quaid looks to have rediscovered some of the mercurial form that made him the Wallabies' first choice 5'8 in 2011 before he was struck down with a knee injury. He was in ominous form as he prepares for the battle to reclaim his Wallaby number 10 jersey from Berwick Barnes. His presence and performance were instrumental in helping the home team put on a strong performance in front of a big crowd at Chipsywood and move within one win of the top four. Cooper wasn't the only Red Star to make an impact in club land last Saturday, with a host of Reds choosing to return to their senior clubs. Despite a torrid three-day camp with the Wallabies, Ben Tapwai, Jake Schatz and late inclusion Liam Gill all fronted for Sunnybank. Although unlike Cooper, their efforts weren't enough to get over the top of University, who bounced back from a last start loss to topple the Dragons 30 points to 17. Norths have won their third game on the trot with a resounding victory over the Sunshine Coast at Hugh Courtney Oval. The Eagles scored nine tries, including doubles to three of their players, as they dismantled the cellar dwellers in the 62-3 routing. Jeeps missed a genuine opportunity to move back into the top four when they went down to a clinical brothers side 36-28 at Crosby Park. Damon Murphy was electric from the back for the Brethren, scoring one try and having a hand in the home side's four other five corners. East toppled West in this week's match of the round, the Tigers producing some fantastic play to grab the Chocolates with a 49-27 victory and hold on to third spot on the ladder. In a high scoring affair that featured 12 tries, the Bulldogs side couldn't continue their recent run of victories, but they did manage to nab a four try bonus point to keep themselves in touching distance of the top four. Scoring a try for the second consecutive week and showing his experience in the set pieces, Michael Stolberg was a deserved winner for this week's Musashi High Performer Award. The Big Lock has experienced a recent purple patch of form, helping his side to their 10th win of the year. Congratulations Michael, enjoy that Musashi prize pack. Looking towards round 15 and there are several games that could cause some major changes on the competition ladder. This week's match of the round sees University play host to Brothers at St Lucia. With both sides coming off strong wins, this game is shaping up to be a blockbuster. Top spot is up for grabs so make sure you get down to UQ for what is sure to be a cracking game of Premier Rugby. Rounding out week 15, Sunnybank will travel to Sylvan Road to take on Wests. Sunshine Coast will take on Souths at Stockland Stadium. The Gold Coast will host Jeeps at Albert Park and Norths will be looking for their fourth win on the trot as they travel to play East. Tune in next week for all the latest news and results on Queensland Premier Rugby.